a lot of very good things to say. You've also been drinking longer than any of us tonight. I will say some things I'll regret tomorrow, but I... That's fine. That's where you're the same. How would you compare the the indie music scene uh, in New York compared to what you found out here when you got here to Los Angeles? You know, in, in New York you had the Brooklyn scene, which basically was a bunch of people lived in lofts, and they threw parties in their lofts, and so they had friends that were in bands, and they were able to do it, and it was because they bypassed venues altogether. They didn't have to worry about a liquor license. They didn't, you know, the cops got called, whatever, they bribed them, or, you know, or they just stopped the show. It's harder to do that out of here, and so you're relying on the venues, and if the venue doesn't, you know, like a place like tonight, they can't really take the risk on a Saturday night. They need to make their money. So if we were to call up and be like, yeah, we're having three other bands, they're going to be like, well, it must have been all burned out with people. Sorry. That whole concept of bringing X amount of people or free selling or pay to play did not exist in New York. Or if it did, it was extremely rare, whereas here it's almost a mainstay. It's, it's a part of making a Yeah. Sorry, you're required to bring in people for Wednesday, so now you move it up to a Thursday. Finally, we're playing a Saturday. So it's, uh, it's like moving up at a job. Although, to be fair, we had to do terrible things to play a Saturday. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to know. Smith is called the Hummer for many reasons. <laughs> If you could change one thing about the indie music scene here in LA, um, yeah, in, in, in Los Angeles and or other cities you played, I'd like there to be a scene. Right now, there's just it seems like uh, you take this club for instance tonight. There was a, an acoustic electric band, and then a, a screaming something band, and then us, and then a metal band. And it's, it's really hard to develop a scene or get a bunch of fans to come to, come to a single night at a place and stay for the whole evening when you have such a diverse group of music. I think there, there is, I think, pockets of the scene here. Like, I think, like, the Silver Lake thing is still sort of there, but yeah. it's kind of like... It's maybe grown past bands like us, like to a certain extent. Even the newer Silver Lake bands are people that were in more established Silver Lake bands like five years ago. There seems to be a noise rock scene. And there's a noise rock scene downtown. The problem is, I think there's, there's. Oh yeah, no, I mean, it's hard for a band like us because we're kind of straddled, like you know, we're I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, no, like uh, Mika, Mika, and like Noe and all those guys like downtown, like they are part of a scene. Yeah, I mean, and the that, smell is, that is, is like a, a music scene. It's not a club; it's a scene. Yeah. Um, but but we we aren't part of that, and right. we won't be because what we'd like to change about the scene is we're not a part. Of it.